and then comes this this is a very curvy shape it's not a geometric it's just line right so joining them again and having a copy I'm not going for offset because uh, offset will create points I don't want that thing point eight I'm saying copy and I'm going to scale it this way yeah I can shape it up this way and uh, I'll split it that's it I guess there is some issue. Anyways, we won't be focusing on that thing. Okay, it's like that only. Anyways, now let us make the doors. This blue strip and the handles. door lies somewhere here right so this is a door just help be dragging the rectangle from this point to this point somewhat this way okay so this is the door I'll be making it a bit wider it's not going in line okay so this is the door I don't know why there are some depths over here. Okay, that is a handle. That, that is my handle. Okay, that way. So nothing is outside. I guess they are reducing the drag. I don't think so that much drag is created. Anyways, we have to respect whatever they have created. So fillet corners. One. No, it's too much. Point three is sufficient. Okay, offset to out. I'll say I don't want to come in. Okay, we'll be making one more thing oblongs in this in this way. Okay, I'll be moving this. No, 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 not this much. Okay. much of the modeling I'm just um, like, you know, I'm just taking care of making a model look like it is we are not going into much detailing because much detailing will take much 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 more time it takes uh, might be more than days to create a very detailed model but we are, we are going for a tutorial and so we have to be very 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 fast anyways so this is a borderline this should be a door something there is a handle we won't be worrying about the handle right now we'll be making a handle depth away this way we will be mirroring this to this point okay i'll be moving this a bit outside this way we'll be selecting this i it. okay so i'll be saying split i'll be selecting this i'll be splitting this way this way right now this again has to hide oh it's going upside uh, it should not go to this level i guess we have uh, mistakenly made something blunder in the top level but anyways we will correct it by not getting to that level we are going to end the door with a very low level of that anyways because this is a blueprint technique so okay that is and that we are going to make such kind of mistakes it is split this one to this 
and again we are going to select this curves and I'll be, we are going to hide it okay now what we'll be doing is uh, we are not going to uh, make this we are going to you know like move this inside by 22 something we are going to see duplicate border okay sorry to this one and duplicate edge to this one okay and i am going to loft it this way so it looks like this i'll be making the paint three to this one or might be metal because it is metal it seems metal okay it looks like metal this has to be plastic sorry not this one this one this one is again a paint okay this much is sufficient for us to hide and uh, we also have something over here we have to you know take reference of this one offset this I'll just move it outside I see a distance of uh, 35 I'll explode I'll delete I'll join both of them or either I can just place it from this point to this point and from this point to this point I'll join it I'll again move it by 35 Split, split, and uh, this thing again goes. That is by okay by paint. This is black glass. Okay, okay. I won't be uh, making it again and again. So I'll be just mirroring this. Whatever I'm going to make this one. Let the paint of the door be white. And let this be metal. Okay now what we need to do with this two things we'll delete this one okay i'll say isolate now, very skillfully what we need to do is we need to take the midpoint go inside by some dimension okay and we need to just join these things join uh, these things are this is because i guess they are supposed to follow up the drag don't know exactly what's but it's quite possible that what I'm saying is right anyways so this is again joined see I'm not wasting my time in filleting because if I fillet it will take really much very really time much time of me I can just copy in spite of mirroring it Okay, so this is the depth that we're getting. Maybe you can just uh, lessen up the size of the depth this way by just simply dragging in. I'll just mirror this again. Okay, join. This came on door away. So we are quite on time. Maybe the train is not, but we are. Anyways, what we'll be doing is one more, one beautiful option will be shown you today. This one to this one to this one. Fill it. Point two. Let's see point three. Let's see point okay 
let us say pipe command pipe command will help you to create a pipe to this point now this point pipes are nothing but the pipes of the metal that a person can hold up while climbing up the train and these are beautifully placed but again the parts of frps might be so they show up that these are of frps and nothing else than that anyways okay i'll delete up the curves now i'll mirror again these things hide i'll show if i have an i am having a oh, i don't know this one this one this one this one this one not this one this one these things have to be mirrored okay so we have done with this now what we'll be doing is we'll be making this window small rectangle now we are on our own now we don't have any blueprint over here okay so after this there is a slight rectangle over here okay if we are on our own we'll just make up a chance that how low we are going this way this is the height of the window let us say okay copy and after that there is a door again again after that we'll be moving it till the end of the frame right so this is the way anyways now what we have to do is there is a pure cut rectangle from this point to this point complete till the below right so this is that curve that we are making none other than from this point to this point from this point to this point there is again one something different and there is an oblong over here so we'll be making that oblong we don't need this we don't need uh, we don't we, we need these things also okay so we have made this first of all what we'll be doing is these uh, sorry that is between there is no corners over here there are no corners over here so we'll be directly selecting this and uh, we'll be trimming this in this in the plane um, we are also going to trim this also as well we are going to trim these two surfaces with this also and these two surfaces with this also hopefully everything is fine these things are nothing but black things i'm just actually i should layer it you know so that uh, things don't trouble me later this also is black yeah it's also black this comes gray so this comes gray this comes gray this comes gray semi glass partial glass we don't know what to say twist this is completely blue the blue that the train has it's much darker but it's not that blue so let us say i can just uh, copy color i'll just say paint i'll just paste this color and i'll make it a darker bit that thing so now i can attach it to this point yes this is the way so this way this way right we are in the correct track we won't be modeling the zero frills and all that stuff i'll just uh, explore it once i'll join this 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 you know, we can even model it no issues that's not very big deal the roof rails 
because detailing is one of the most anticipated things that is to be done very 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 well okay. okay so we have done this now this thing and this thing this is blue this is blue as well we won't be going in the detailing of the top level we are just bothering something about uh, and I'll make it a bit matte okay now this yellow band is nothing we are just going to make a sticker out of it nothing more than that so following this brand again it comes till this point right I'll just move it downwards it's not that down let's see some way copy it F9 see this one the band is here this is the band yes it is here let's move it up and down this at this point again be making it this way Jim. scale 1d i'll just lower up the height you don't much need much height to this point till this point i'll join this now okay it breaks no way so it's a straight cut thing so whatever comes in line has a break over that only one thing we'll do okay uh, we'll just move it outside the green we won't be uh, actually modeling it okay isolate we'll be just keeping it on the surface we won't be splitting it okay let us see what it looks like actually you have to trim it it's pretty okay no issues yeah you need to split it away we'll split it away somewhere beautiful aligned on this point to this to this this to this split okay hopefully it breaks at this point and this point it goes inside somewhere okay so it looks like this but uh, we have to be somewhat 0 0.01 outside so it does not create a hurdle. So this way, this way, this way. I'll say mirror. Okay. So this is the thing that we have created right now. Okay. Now we'll be creating the everything is uh, done here. Something is there that we'll also model at once. Okay. Very less uh, actually place there. And there should have been more. But anyways, we can just no, no need to make it. Let us leave it. I leave it up to you guys to model that thing. Now let us make a coach. Now I have a bit edge over here. The edge. Join. 
and plan our curve close it i'll just keep the curve i'll join this so this is the way i have made this now you need to make a coach out of it now what detailing of the coach we have i don't know we just making everything for uh, kind of fun so you can just make it out that this is the hull of the train the rest of the train okay let us assume the length of the coach is this much right now let us uh, see the coaches now this is the coach right now one door might be at the front and one door might be at the end and the rest of the thing is in the between right let us go with that thing we don't know what is side here we can see a door over here in here so the door is nothing but this we'll be copying this complete thing right from this point to this point okay so this is a door split split it would be failing to split anyways what we can do is um, i can delete this i don't want this right because now in this case well, what we'll be doing is making the half and we'll mirror the half because we have taken a lot of efforts in creating this so half we'll make and half we'll mirror now this thing is supposed to like you know come out by some dimension let that be something this way okay okay i'll just split i select this one split and i'll delete this one i select this as well as split delete this one okay so i've got the geometry over here again i'll be have this geometry com now complete as it is over here just i don't have this uh, things over here right so i'll just say copy outside by 25 and then 50 I have copied this, I'll explode it, I'll join this stuff, I'll move by 50 and I'll delete the rest. For this thing I have copied this. this way right again I'll say copy I'll just fix it somewhere over here right again I'll just try to move them uh, slight outside so that they can intersect with the surface and they can get themselves split Okay. Join. Okay, we have made this in that way. And join it again with this one and this one. Right. Now what we'll be doing is again we'll be splitting it from the middle simply mirror I'll join it again now again what I'll be doing is I'll be taking F7 F9 this way Hopefully it is like this. Yes, I don't know what is the length. I guess we have over anticipated the length. I'll keep this with me. I'll just undo it. I'll just again the coach lengths are short, I guess. I don't know. Split or it is looking short to me. But anyways, 
If it is short, then we have to make it short because we can't press press the and it is too short. Then let us keep it this much at least. We don't know the exact dimensions of the train. I just join it this way. Okay, fine. We can control V and then we'll be moving it this way. Splitting it again. Again, we have this issue. Right from this point, we can just split it up this way. And uh, we having a split over here as well from this point to this point. Split. Okay. Now I'll be painting this one. This is the dark one. Okay. Right. Again, this line has to be copied from this point. Okay. Right from this point, no issues. Scale. I'm just playing tactfully now. I just don't want to create copies, so I'll be saying copy from this point to this point, and from this point I'll say scale again. Copy now from this point to this one to this point again, okay. and again I delete this one this way. Okay, I'll let it be this way. I'll say mirror to this one. See this one. It's pure beauty. Exactly. So this is the frontal part now. We have this one. Now making roof fails is not a very big deal, right? So it's just one line from this point let us say 0.5 no 0.5 is too much 0.2 yeah 0.2 outward and 0.2 inward upside and there is a slight fillet over here 0.1 you can even come you can even scale it down now if you feel that no oh, it's too much you can just say 0.7 is okay for me okay so maybe in this extrude and you can just make it sure that it comes in joins over here you can say offset surface flip 0 0.05 solid yes no not 0 0.05 flip 0 0.1 Point zero five. Point flip. Point zero two. Yeah, flip is okay. Copy. It's not going that well. Anyways, we can do one more thing. We can do duplicate edge. We can do this one. Be making this to that point. Similarly, we'll be copying this again from this point to this point. Scale one dimension this point to.
paint is this is white this is again white okay so these are the roof rails as well here i won't be making the restoration boards because again a time consuming thing i'll be just muttering this now i won't take much time now finishing this because already we are 1.5 hour ahead join this is join again okay this one duplicate borders duplicate edge I'll be joining this one and I'll say left close this one I'll say mirror and I'll close this one as well right now what the thing is we have made this much the decaling things and all that leave it all aside uh, now I'll be uh, you know if if I if I even if I go with this thing okay I can just create a train set completely this way no, the train is going to be created this way okay this much is sufficient for me so I'll just keep it one bogey right now now we'll be uh, giving up carriages niche the below I'll open a new thing It's looking beautiful, but nice. Now this will be the last activity of us. Now, move where I have kept the rails. Okay, I'll I'll get this uh, WDM concept that I have made long back for Indian railways. Anyways, no, no, no. What I'll be doing is I'll just copy pasting this on the tracks, the railway tracks, and the carriages, uh, the bogies that are below the things. I'll just copy paste it and I'll have the final look of my train okay so this is my carriage one thing we'll do we'll copy this track and not this carriage because it seems to very heavy seems very heavy Okay, I'll just place it over here. I don't know the skill. I guess we have to manage a lot. Oh, the scale is too small. I'll blow it up. Scale by probably thousand. Okay. Okay, literally we'll be deciding how to, you know, because we need to be more, 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 one point two, one point two. No, no. Let us see. We place it over here, right? All right, we've placed it at this point. This is uh, something weird. Anyways, I'll change the color. Anyway, uh, we will see it really later on. First of all, we'll bring the carriages. So, we'll not be boring this carriage. We have a WDG locomotive. Uh, we'll copy it from that. We have a WG locomotive and we can copy it from that point and we have a uh, uh, undercarriage of that uh, particular locomotive. Uh, actually the train set in this case is having a bogey of I guess 1 and 2 and set of 4 tires but anyhow I don't have uh, that set. So I'll be just borrowing just for look purpose okay here. So I'll be taking this one the bogey of WDG7. It's uh, really very light and it will help us to you know, 
for the other things this way. Okay, this is too small. Now we have to uh, establish a link between these two. Right, so I say scale, not 1D, it's a scale, and you need to say 5 times larger. Uh, now I can just you know hide this because we don't need it now much. Scale again, scale 1.2, scale again 1.1. Scale again, move it this way. Scale again 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah, this seems okay to me. Uh, but, 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 but the carriages here seem a lot huge. So, what we can do is uh, We can just shorten up according to this one, and we can just now split it up, scale according to the size of the wheels. So first of all, what we are doing is we'll be fitting up at this way here. We'll scale it up according to the size of the wheels of the train 18. Yes, this way, and then what we'll be doing is we'll be moving it from the mid to the center, moving it up high this way below below and scale it in one day so right now no need to go for very technically you can split it and you can move it and then you can loft it we don't have that much time so i'll be just now placing it this way so this is the way i found out to be very precise right and isolate it Explode it twice, thrice, and then join it because it's a billion feature that has been made in that file for WDG uh, nine. Oh, sorry, that is seven. You can just have a look at this locomotive as well. It's a very detailed one. Anyways, I don't need it much now. Yeah, I just now layer it again without any bogey. It's a bogey. So I'll be taking again default material as an add paint. I'll say black. Which black and matte finish in that? Okay. That attached to the bogey. So this is my bogey now. These things are to be made somewhere down. These are all pipes and all these hydraulics. I don't know where they lie. These things lie. Correct. There is something over here which is red in color. I don't know. Have I don't have any idea about what it is. Anyway, I'll select the bogey. I'll group it up and I'll say copy. And I'll copy it behind. In this way, again I'll copy this set. I don't have any option rather than copying it this way and pasting it wherever I feel fine because wasting the time creating bogies is really because you have to create these bogies and then you have to again you know create the stuff and keep on doing that thing oh. these trains don't have pentograph actually i was for searching for that thing anyways i'll uh, just isolate this one and just open the group okay i have selected these all sleepers my sleeper Sleepers, concrete sleeper over okay, there, and one level. I just select, I just say new paint plaster. I'll say concrete sleeper. Okay, uh, these are not exploding. Okay, these are exploded now, and uh, I 
F3 for properties material by layer use layer material now fine now these are clips select objects F3 again use layer material I'll go for this I'll go for paint 3 okay And the rails again select objects F3 use material layer material coming over here again I'll be selecting metal for this one and I'll be creating an effect of gun metal over here polished All right now I'll just create one more copy of this mirror and just take this one and I'll just make it to the center concrete slippers I'll just group it into one clips I'll select into group rails I'll select into group now okay sorry yeah and these three layers are locked now okay i'll move my train ahead this way right i'll create one more bogey now uh, i can just hide this thing i won't be doing detailing for like uh, stuff anyways so guys we have made the train 18 in Rhinosaurus 6.2